Diamond Paints and Happy Valentine's Day! Welcome to my Whip Wine, Won't You Be My Valentine, Spreading a Little Diamond Painting Love Edition. <laughs> that is so long, we should drink to that toast. Ah, so classy, right? Classy with a K. Okay. So, thanks everybody for watching and um, what are we doing? Okay, here's what we're doing. I'm gonna do a little bit of a whip just because we're gonna go over. I've gotten to a point where I think I wanna show you all the different ABs and I have a rhinestone that I'm gonna trade out. People have been saying, oh, you know, they're not sure how to switch things out. So I thought we'll do a little whip around that. Then we'll do a little bit of Valentine's stuff. That'll be hilarious. And then let's give away a diamond painting, right? I'll give away a diamond painting and some more of the uh, Diamond Dots uh, AB, what am I trying to say? Diamond Dots Freestyle Resin AB Drills. Ooh, that's a mouthful too. We should drink to that too. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay. So let's talk about my diamond painting here. You know what? I think it's upside down for you. Is that better? How's that? That makes much more sense, right? That makes much more sense for you. Okay. So some of these colors when trading out for AB, some of these make absolute sense. I did an unboxing for diamond painting drills. This is the packaging, very lovely. And these make absolute sense. So this is a 702 and it's a direct um, replacement with 702 AB. And you can see here, I showed these, I'll link the video for you, but really beautiful, right? So I have this one, 702, 907, uh, what was the other one? Oh. This one, so like these two I had said before, these two colors, the greens, I really liked. This color, you see that? Will it focus on that? This color is, you know, slightly nasty. I just don't like it. It's like this cementy, mauvey gray. It's just so washed out. I just don't appreciate it. And the 3861, I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's really gorgeous. So this one I'm really excited to replace. So these are from diamondpaintingdrills.com. Alyssa from Diamond Painting Drills, she was really wonderful. She has given us a discount code, you guys. So use DPLOVE2021 at checkout and you can get 10% off of your purchase. Wonderful, right? Okay, those are a direct. Now for some indirect. Now these are my diamond dots. I have three diamond dots here, freestyle resin drills, and let's go over why I'm using these. Okay, so this color, this is just white. This is 5001, and this is a white AB. And the color here that I'm using for this is S, and it's actually 3756. 3756 is actually a minty color right but i think with this image the way it is i think the white is going to be fine you can see that right it's not going to matter if it's this minty color or this white at first i thought i would just trade out um i would use the, the minty color the 3865 up here in the o and then i was just going to use the white down here where it says for all but I think now I'm gonna switch it out completely for the white AB. All of the S symbol is gonna be switched out, okay? So that's a choice that I made. Put that over there. This is another, this makes perfect sense. This is 608 and this is Diamond Dots. Diamond Dots doesn't have DMC. So you have to just match it up. But as you can see, can you see that? That is a really great match. It's number 5012 for diamond dots. And so that's how I came to that one. That matches up really well. That's gonna be in the E, in the little heart, and then up and around here where you can see that. So that's that one. What else? Oh, here's the other diamond dots. So now this one is just 
a judgment call that I'm going with. This is DMC 640. And you can see, I would call this like an army greenish cementy color. I always go with cement, but they have this grayish undertone to it. So this is actually a diamond dots. I would call this like a rhinestone type of color. Now don't, you can see there before you shake this, right? That it looks um, like rhinestone -y diamonds. However, if we shake this down some and get this, you can see that it's actually this, I don't even know what you want to call that. Not platinum. It's not gold. If you can see here, this is gold. Um, pewter, maybe a pewter type of color. Um, and that's why I didn't, I looked at the gold. The gold is actually too bright to be close to a simulate. Now, of course, these are totally different colors, but do you understand what I mean? That one is so bright compared to this where this color is, I thought this would be a better substitution. And actually this six, the reason I made this choice was it's outlining. It's all on the outline of the letters. Um, so I thought that would be really great to have this super sparkle outlining the letters. So that's how I came to that decision. Then what do we have? Then we have Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So this is yet another company. Diamond Painting with Spark... Oh, let me move this so we're not distracted. Diamond Painting with Sparklers. I have purchased from them oh, a while ago, actually. And this is when I came to the determination that you should go with the off color sometimes, not just the flashiest, not like the 550 purples and 666 reds. As I said, absolutely, those are gorgeous. But these, like this is 434. I use this in a diamond painting. This is absolutely gorgeous. This makes such a wonderful addition from this color. Okay, so this is 434, this is 3862. So they're not the same DMC, but can you see that? If you're, you know, I am not sure at all of this angle. So if all of these are off camera, I will just put in a picture of it. But you can see that that is um, so close, right? It is so close. Um, so that's how I came to that one. And then the last one that I have that I've chosen is this E, this blue. So this is 3846, this beautiful teal blue, which is beautiful. It's going to be in this L, and it's a little bit in these blue spots. You can see that. I decided to go with Diamond Painting with Sparklers, her peacock. So if you see, I might have to pull these out into a tray again so you can see, because they're all flipped up. The silver is not it. You see that peacock color? Look at what a good substitution that is for that teal blue, right? So I think that's gorgeous. So that one is going to go for the L. Um, so I think the, one of the reasons why I chose this the O has the white, so it's going to be really a, uh, a AB, and the E has this one that's very AB, and the L has this that's going to, so I was worried about this V color, but V actually has the white, some of the blue, some of this one, and some of this one all incorporated into it. So I think the V will sparkle, because I was worried that all of these had so much AB in it, but I think, and you can see, I wanted to show you how much of the V is done with non-ABs, but I still think there'll be enough sparkle in here to hold it all together. And then this for all, I'll use all of the AB white. Okay, so that's all, all the changes that I'm gonna make. That's my reasoning why I'm gonna do that. I think um, I'll just show it to you as I go along. Maybe we'll do it, we'll do it as we do the whip, okay? So those are the different companies that I'm using. Those are the different colors I'm using. And let's see what it looks like, okay? Okay, we are going to start with 702, uh, the Kelly Green from Diamond Painting Drills. Are these not beautiful? <laughs> oh, I'm very excited. Okay, there aren't very many of these. 
but I might add a little more because they are so gorgeous. Here we go, wait. Okay, I hope everybody is having a lovely Valentine's Day doing whatever it is that you, <laughs> you see how I didn't pick that up? We'll just skate it all the way around the board. It's like cheating a little bit. But I hope you're having a great day doing whatever it is that you want to do. I mean, it's Sunday, so hopefully you're not working. So that right there is a win, I think. Win-win. Okay, I have to find more of these. If you haven't seen my whip wine, we're going to do a little bit of a whip wine and what? Um, Valentine's Day edition a little bit. Um, I have a playlist for my whip wines. I think my favorite one, I don't know. There's the animal, the pet one, but I think it, it's got to be the shoes because I'm just a shoe girl. I love shoes. That's my thing. So I have right now, I found these awesome Valentine's candy hearts. What if sayings? They are so cute. Like this one, so we'll just start. You'll see what I mean. This one's like everyday Candy hearts. Candy hearts for the everyday. I think my favorite one of this list is, uh, I don't know, either I'll do the dishes or do you want to go to Target? Do you want to go to Target is so awesome. The everyday drills, uh, everyday drills, everyday hearts. But I thought these two, I found these two and I thought, oh, these are perfect for everyday hearts, right? I love this um, the, um, what is a uh, sleep in today? That's a good one too. Yep, sleep in today one. Those are cute. Yes. I love this one. I'm so glad you have me. <laughs> that is something I would say to my husband after I've done something really terrible. Once I've broken something or, you know, cracked something and <laughs> you're so lucky you have me. I mean, I think his life would be really boring if he didn't have me around breaking and just Generally, I'm just so clumsy. It's just ridiculous. So I like this one. And I thought this one kind of goes right after. <laughs> right? You'll do. I love that heart. Yeah, you'll do. I guess. Whatever. It's fine. You'll do. These are awesome hearts. Aren't these just like self-esteem inducing? Right. Self-esteem inducing hearts. Uh -huh. I want some more of this. I think that's it, but I think I'm just going to put some more a couple different places here because it is such a gorgeous color. Well, you know what? Actually, what I normally say is finish. Finish first and then go back and see if you want more because I've got all these O's to do and things like that. So I think I'll trade out my colors now and... Yeah. Okay. Let's trade out the colors. But yeah, you'll do. I'm so glad you have me. You'll do. And what was the other one? Oh, the, the emotionally unavailable. That's great. go. These are going to spill everywhere. Hey, we made it. It didn't spill everywhere. We got it back in the package. Cheers to us. Whatever. <laughs> we're being so successful. It's ridiculous. Okay. Where were we? The emotionally unavailable. That one's good too. They're all good. And then if the one, if women, if women wrote candy hearts, my favorite one is, are you listening? I talk clearly, right? Clearly I talk so much that I say to my husband sometimes, he'll look at me, what are you saying? You know, I'll say, you know what? I will raise my hand if you need to start paying attention. He'll say, okay, thanks. I'll just keep blathering on. Let him do what he's doing. What was this one? Anyone, anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Oh, we're looking for O's, people. O's, O's, O's. Or zeros. They look like zeros. Doesn't really matter. 
Whether it's an O or a zero, it's round and it has a hole in the center. A donut hole in a donut's hole. But we must look a little closer. And when we do, we see the donut hole has a hole in its center. It is not a donut hole, but a smaller donut with its own hole. And our donut is not a hole at all. That's what we're looking for now. Maybe the wine's getting to me. Where are they? I know there's some here. Oh, here we go. They're down here. That's good. They're in the V, like I said, because V doesn't have like a major color, but I think it has a whole bunch of all kinds of colors. Perfect. This one was funny, but a little, a little rude. I don't know. Your money's on the dresser. <laughs> on a candy heart. Thanks. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside now. Okay, sorry about that. Apparently I wasn't recording for that whole part. <laughs> so we'll just do it again. What were we on, you guys? Where did we leave it? Was it money on the dresser that we left it at? And I finished this one. This one is uh, 907. Oh, can I show you? Am I showing it to you right? Like I said, if I'm not, I'll put it. I'll put a picture in there. Gorgeous though. See where we're getting with this? Sometimes it's nice to just have a little bit. I mean, this thing is gonna be full by the time we're done, but it would have been a nice idea to just have the greens um, and you know, just have a little bit of sparkle instead of what I'm gonna have, which is it vomited all over it. <laughs> but uh, it's Valentine's Day. You should have a lot of sparkle and all kinds of good stuff. So yay, I'll do a post review on this. But where are we? So your money's on the dresser. Oh, and the dysfunctional, <laughs> look at these. These are great. These are my favorites, I think. The dysfunctional hearts. What is your favorite? My favorite is, I think it's either, it's not me, it's you. And um, you sound like your mother. That's the best heart I think I've ever seen. That is so perfect. And the last one that we have is, oh, this is a cartoon, not a heart. But I saw this and this so applies to me because I love shoes. My poor husband, we go somewhere and anywhere you can go. You can go to a hardware store. If they're selling like work boots, I'm like, oh, look at these work boots. <laughs> it's just, it's really a sickness I have. I have a sickness. It's a sickness. So. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do for the whip and you can see the sparkle. I'll do a post review so you can see more sparkle on here and see how it turns out. That's wonderful. We have to get to the winner. I thought for Valentine's Day, you guys, we're gonna give away the gnome, the Valentine gnome. Isn't he perfect for Valentine's Day? He is so cute. And then I have the um, red Diamond Dots AB Freestyle Resin Drills to give away too, okay? So let's do the whole drum roll. Oh, we're gonna spill the wine everywhere. All right, and let's pull a name out of the hat. Yeah, Mama Diamond Banks, doesn't she have a fantastic comment? That's a great idea to just mix these two into a tray and then you get what you get. I think that's a wonderful idea. So thanks for the hot idea and I hope you love the diamond painting. I think this is a cute one. This is so cute. So if you want to contact me on my email, kdiamondpaints at yahoo.com or over on Instagram at kdiamondpaints and leave me a message and I will get your information from you. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.